Hey, peace, love, and light, my beautiful cancers. Welcome to First Eye Visions. Yes, it is 2023, beloveds. I received a lot of requests to do readings for other signs. As you all know, if you don't know, I typically read for Scorpios and I was called to start incorporating readings for all signs. Um, I provide deep dive readings for Scorpios, but I will be giving just a summary type of reading just to kind of sum it up. For you all so you can see what's coming and going out going on what's in your energy what's in your energetic field um so we're going to go ahead and and take a little peeky peek see what's coming in what's going out what's going on beloveds um i thank you so much if you are new here welcome the way that i do things on my side of the planet is i incorporate music into my readings because i am clairaudient i am also an empath and i am also an intuitive reader so i do channel messages while i read uh, and the way that it all works together is the name of the songs that I listen to, uh, the lyrics within the song, name of the song, maybe even the name of the artist, the timestamp on my clock. It will all correlate to what I am channeling intuitively as well as what the cards are reading. And it all just blends very beautifully. My spiel here is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, beloved, just let it fly by. Know that you're more than just your sunshine. So check your moon, your rising, your Venus, your Mercury, your Mars. Check your other placements for a more clear and and concise reading for you my readings are also timeless so whenever you found this reading or whenever this video has found you well that was divine timing and in divine order that it is done so so let's go ahead proceed with the read but before we do we're going to go ahead and do some house cleaning so i do call upon the elements of water fire earth air ether and spirit ashe i ask our beautiful angels archangels ancestors ascended masters spirit guides deities animal totems earth mother gaia universe source the divine to shine a powerful powerful message of love and of light i call personally upon baba obatala mama oya and baba ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards help me to pick up on the energy number synchronicity and vibrations of my cards and so it is so mode it be Ashe, 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 beautiful souls. So let's tap in. So we have on the bottom of the deck, we have that Ace of Cups, beautiful souls. So you all could have like some healing going on at this time. Maybe you all have new love coming in. It is 708 on the clock or 709, pardon me. 709, so that represents, uh, that reduces to 16. 16 reduces to 7, so that's the chariot. Um, we have Nothing Even Matters also playing by Lauren Hill and D'Angelo. So there is someone who is coming in confidently, like they don't care about how they look. They don't care. Maybe this is your energy, Cancer, because you are the chariot in traditional tarot. But it's like you are taking action and you don't care. You finally found balance. You are harmonized within your energy. Um, and there's love that is triggering you, motivating you, inspiring you, and encouraging you to take action. So you're being more assertive is what I'm picking up. And we have Joe Jackson stepping out so I feel like you're stepping out of your usual comfort zone because cancers are typically very reserved. They feel deeply, but they never really reveal that um, as a protective mechanism. They don't really express their feelings. Um, you will never know how deeply, you know, a cancer feels because that's a part of their protective um, shield, you know, that, that shells. They stay very protected, very guarded. Uh, but I do feel like there's new love. Like Source, Universe is blessing you with some sort of love. And this is like, you know, whoever this is, whatever this is, it's like this vessel is pouring water into the ocean. Um, so they their, their cup is full. And, and I feel like... This could be indicative of your feelings as well. So this could be healing, just as I said, because that's the three of swords. So healing from heartache, pain, loss, maybe the loss of a loved one. You know, maybe there was a masculine that recently transitioned, transcended. You may have a grandfather, an uncle, a father, um, a brother, a cousin, a close friend that has transitioned. Um, and you've been doing a lot of healing Spirit has been helping you to heal from that situation. You know, you're learning to love again. You're learning to trust 
um, what you're feeling, your heart chakra is opened. I see the five of pentacles. You feel you may have felt abandoned. Someone could have abandoned you, left you out in the cold. Um, I'm seeing like a masculine and they're being uh, cared for by what appears to be like a nurse up here at the top. And this, these two look like um, elders, you know, so I don't know if you have like, um, you know, maybe a grandmother, grandfather, a father, um, you know, a maternal and paternal figure that have kind of assisting you. Maybe this is like a, a feminine energy that is like supporting you when you feel down and out. Maybe you feel like you're not uh, financially where you wish to be. You're wishing, you know, that your finances were... Um, were better than they are, you know, maybe you were in a relationship with someone and maybe there were some codependencies it within that relationship. But I feel like you've been praying, wishing and hoping on a star. Maybe you've been healing from, you know, whatever this heartache is, whatever this disappointment. This was like, you know, emotional loss of some sort. This is like sudden pain, but you've been praying, wishing and hoping on a star, hoping for change. He was dealing with a very devil energy. This is someone who is like very toxic. Someone who is a gaslighter, a deceiver, envious, jealous. The devil is a liar. The devil dupes. The devil lies, steals, cheats, does everything and anything. You may have someone that's spying on you. This is someone in a very low vibration. This is someone who's very envious, very jealous. This could be even obsession and possessiveness. This is someone trying to keep you caught up in their web, web of lies. Maybe someone is watching you via the web, maybe doing some online investigation, background checks. We have the uh, five of wands. So this person is very competitive. This is someone who's also like Tweedledee, Tweedle, Tweedledum. Like this is someone that's like, a, you know, da -dun -da -dun. it's like they, they don't know they ask from their elbow. And maybe they're a little jelly because you could be a little stable. You know, this is someone who also blends in. You don't know that they are uh, like an enemy or the ops because they, they're like a chameleon. They're a shapeshifter. And we have Xavier Omari. And this is called So Much More. So this is somebody who could have wanted so much more from you. They didn't get as much as they wanted. They could have been stealing from you. This is someone you could have lived with with the four of wands. So this is somebody that you could have resided with. You know, y'all could have had your name on the, the deeds of the house. Or maybe you had your name on the same lease. You know, maybe you left that situation. Or maybe someone kicked you out of their home. This person was never satisfied. So I see a card in the upright. So this is your bonus message because all of these cards... Are facing you see how even this you see that so this card is in the upright so this is your bonus message so this is your overall energy so you've been praying wishing hoping on a star you also have been learning to turn your vulnerabilities into a superpower turn your pain into power but this is very indicative of co-creating with source praying sending up those prayers petitions affirmations even doing daily mantras you know, but you're manifesting and I feel like whatever you're manifesting is coming in real time. This is like a wish fulfillment. This is the overall energy. So something unexpected is going to take place. I feel like there's some sort of miracle or an answered prayer. Like you're going to get so much more than what you anticipated or so much more than what you bargained for in this wish fulfillment. And we have this page of swords here. So there is someone or something behind the scenes lurking. Someone doing some background checks. Maybe there's someone that's ready and prepared to communicate. But be mindful because they're wearing a mask. So they may not be honest. And I saw a 909. So I feel like you have, um, you know, kind of like been in hermit mode, perhaps. Like you haven't been communicating with people as, as, as of late. Um, so maybe this is why someone's spying, trying to find as much as they can on you. Um, let's tap in. So who is our beautiful cancers attracting to them and we have the ace of cups here on the bottom of the deck so spirit is really finally like really uh showcasing how much healing you've been doing you've been you've you are in so much um you're in such a better place than you were originally so the person this is a queen of uh wands and then we have the wheel so i feel like there's 
the person that's doing all that spying and the person that you could potentially be healing from is perhaps a queen of wands. That's Airy Leo Sagittarius energy. And with this wheel, I feel like something is turning in your favor. Like, I feel like there's something turning in your favor. Whoever this person is, I feel like they've been very sneaky, very controlling, very uh, my way or the highway, you know, trying to control the finances, trying to control the way the house functions. Maybe you resided with this queen and that's why you was feeling like, you know, broken hearted, whatever the case may be. The, the, she is like keeping tabs on you. See how she's just watching and even the cat is watching. So it's like this is somebody that is just spying. How they feel about you is the the wheel. So they feel like you are um, destined to be with them. But there's also a snake. And snakes are very indicative of change. And I see 1111 here. So I do feel like you're looking for some sort of change or maybe this person has changed. And I feel like with this wheel, it's like out with the old, in with the new. It's like spirit is turning things around in your favor. I feel like there's also, you know, something is coming full circle. We have this and we have red man time for some action. So, you know, so there is going to be some sort of action because the Queen of Wands goes after what she wants. Very attractive. This could be, you know, a single person, a single woman that um, has her eyes on you or a single man that has their eyes on you ready to take action. Because they do feel like this is a destiny type of love. This is also, you know, the Ace of Cups. This is what's hidden. So there's a lot of love. This could represent like, you know, marriage children family we got the sun here and there goes the chariot your card so i do feel like you're going to go towards what brings happiness in your life what brings joy spirit is telling you to do that because i feel like you 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 are very protective very guarded because you've been dealing with people who have been wearing masks people who have been gaslighting you for years and I feel even with this snake, the snake represents someone who is very sneaky, speaks with a forked tongue. So they could have been very, very deceitful. But I feel like how they feel about you is just like the wheel. So this is someone who feels like there's like this karmic cycle, perhaps. Like things are just constantly going around and around and around and around. All right, so what's hidden in the energy may have a message of love and life for my beautiful cancers. What's hidden in the energy for my beautiful cancers? I have a message of love and light, spirit. What's hidden in the energy for my beautiful cancers? I have a message of love and light. So we got a card that flipped over. So what's hidden in the energy is you have the eight of swords. So there's someone that's just like stressing over you. Maybe there's someone that's penning you a letter and then balling it up. Someone that has something that they want to get off their chest. Something they want to communicate with. Maybe this is you kind of like up in two minds. This is self-deception as well. You know, this is not expressing your truth. This is kind of like blocking yourself from communicating or expressing your feelings. There's a magician here. So you could be trying to manifest someone or something back into your life. Or maybe someone is trying to manifest you. What is the outcome for my beautiful cancers? May I have a message of love and light. What is the outcome for my beautiful cancers? May I have a message of love and a message of light. Thank you, Spirit. So they gave you two messages. So communication is coming. This one wanted to showcase. So I'm going to put it back in there. And somebody's definitely spying, looking for an opportunity, a window of opportunity. So it's almost like somebody who may have had to kind of like um, tighten their game. You know, maybe somebody is learning your love language, learning how to communicate more effectively. Uh, with time for some action, somebody is going to be uh, very proactive or action oriented um, in their communication style. So the outcome is we have the Ten of Pentacles and the Fool. So this is about taking that leap of faith, someone wanting to try again, someone wanting to return. You know, the Ten of Pentacles is also showing like this, some sort of stability here. This is like financially free, feeling financially free. This is like family. This is like 
And I feel like this is someone that you feel brings you joy. So spirit is telling you be risky. Like don't just do. Um, it's time for action. So maybe something you've been doing has been very bland, very routine. And spirit is saying it's time for you to take action. Follow, you know, your heart chakra. You know, be more risky, be more daring, be more bold. And communicate your truth, express your truth, and cut off what no longer serves you, your highest good. So let's uh, clarify these messages, and then we're going to wrap up. So unexpected income just flew out, out of the blue. So whatever that is, that's what this wish fulfillment is. You all have been working on something privately. I feel like you've been holding on to hope. You've been manifesting something. And I feel like spirit is going to uh, reward you very shortly. And we have black street joy. So this is something with black. This is something you don't see coming. But it's going to bring you a whole lot of joy. A whole lot of happiness. Especially with the star. That's about wish fulfillment. That's about being overjoyed. You've been walking in faith. Trusting the process. Healing as necessary. Learning to co-create. Learning to channel your energy. But also being that magi. And I see this message is coming through. And this is the person that you um, are attracting. So with that queen of wands and a message. Someone may communicate with you. This is someone that's trying to keep you bound and stuck though. So be mindful that 11 today is 11. So trust what you're feeling intuitively. That seven and that 29 reduces to um, nine. So nine is about change. So you need to change course of direction is what I'm hearing because this wand is all about action. So I feel like if this person does reach out to you, you need to to like change the way that you would normally deal with that person because there's something about this connection that keeps you bound and stuck. This person could be a rat, a snake. This is someone that's not trustworthy. This is somebody that could be doing some sort of juju voodoo, who do santeria, black magic, white magic, ritual work, spell work on you. Trying to steal your joy. You know, you see this imprisonment. This is like stealing your joy, stealing your freedom. You don't feel free with this person. Let's tap in. So why is this queen of wands here for this person that cancer is attracting? See, the, oh, snap. Look at that. It came right back out to clarify this Queen of Wands. So you need to break free from a Queen of Wands. This is a fire energy. This is someone that really is, um, you know, the, 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 they are ruled, you know, that fire energy, especially Aries, is ruled by Mars. And I just get a very, like, someone very competitive, very um, confrontational, controlling, bossy. You know, I, I just, and you felt imprisoned. You felt like you didn't have no freedom. You couldn't do anything. You know what I'm talking about? Like, this is also like that 29, 11, that reduces to 2. So that's the high priestess. So this is someone who's very, like, sneaky. This could be someone very sneaky doing things that you may not be aware of. This could also be like a false flame. This could be a false flame. They could be very much controlled. This because remember that devil energy. So they could be very much like um, obsessed. You know, very possessive of you. Look at that thief. This is someone who's trying to steal from you, steal your joy, steal your peace. Trust your intuition. Trust what you feel. Because there is a thief around you, and this could be someone who may have a son or a child. You know, they may use their son so that you could, you know, to emotionally manipulate you. But with this six here, uh, six is giving me like, you know, use your first eye because that's the first eye. But I also feel like spirit is saying it's time to move on. It's time to because this is like the merry-go-round you was on. How they feel about you is they, you know, you, look at this. This is a wealthy man or a wealthy woman, regardless of the the um, gender here and how they feel is like they feel like they could always come they could always come get what they need get their fill because you may be well to do well off and so she'll throw a little you know sex at you or he'll throw a little d at you and then they get what they want it's like a merry because i was getting like emotional roller coaster like a red like a merry-go-round over and over so it's like you gotta you gotta um you gotta wrap up this cycle you know because this person has completely stolen your joy. Why is this wheel here for how this person cancers are attracting to them feel? Thief. I can't make this ish up. I can't make it up. And we got mature woman. So this is what, this is could be who's on your brain or who's thinking of you. 
you know, maybe you're just constantly thinking of someone with whom you know is more mature. They got their ish together. You know what I'm saying? And maybe you are up at night trying to pen them a letter or you're just up thinking of them all the time. This is like self-imposed mental anguish, con conflict. This is stress, aggravation. Like you got to get out of that mindset and, and just take action, you know. So why is this um, eight of swords here for what's hidden in the energy? This is someone you're meant to be with. This is someone you could envision yourself with. You know, whether that's a feminine or masculine. Like, this is who's constantly on your mind because you love them. You can see yourselves marrying them. You feel like this is the yin to your yang, yang to your yin. So it's like spirit is saying that, you know, you need to communicate, express yourself. Because um, you're only digging yourself more, uh, you know, a deeper hole, you know, with more time that flies by. And it's time to wrap up that cycle. See this? This this is you. This is what this Eight of Swords is all about. You know, maybe there is a lot of concern about, you know, maybe this family that you have created with someone. You was in a domestic situation. But being that it's at a 10, it's like your spirit, your angels, your guides are guiding you in a different direction. Telling you it's time to, you know, go on that path of, of self-discovery. Be more adventurous. Be more spontaneous. And do the things that are um, near and dear to your heart. Be more risky, more daring, um, more bold in your steps. Maybe this is what is like kind of causing angst and frustration and fear. Um, we got Nas. This is called War Against Love. So there's someone definitely behind the scenes perhaps trying to block real love from coming in because you can see here this ten of pentacles and then we have this concern so you could be blocking your own self that's why spirit is telling you trust your intuition trust your intuition why is this ten of pentacles here for the outcome for my beautiful cancers and then we're going to wrap it up why is this ten of pentacles here thank you spirit see that poverty i can't make this up someone is going to use you it says war against love so whoever this person is there's no love here they're just using you for whatever you have and when you run out they're going to leave your ass out in the cold you know that could have been what happened because this 35 or this 32 is five so that's that 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 you know energy of like conflict um challenge and you could see here uh, yet again, someone that was disloyal. You were loyal to them, but they were disloyal to you. So it's almost like when the coins ran out, they just abandoned you. Because I'm getting like the five of pentacles here. This is being left out in the cold. Someone could have literally kicked you out into the street. Like they could have kicked you out of their home. Um... And what I see here is your angels, your ancestors, your spirit guides, your spirit team are still nudging you and telling you to keep it pushing. You know, they're inspiring you, encouraging you to be independent because your independence is the foundation for your individuality, for your peace, your happiness, your satisfaction. And with this Nas song, War Against Love, I feel like this person never loved you. This could be someone that is that devil because the devil is a liar. He's a deceiver. He's definitely envious and jealous. And they don't want you to come into union with your true flame or your true your true love so that's why they they cause fear and confusion why is this fool here you could be a little conflicted with starting over maybe you are, you are, you fear change maybe you, you know you could be fixed in that regard why is the fool here for the outcome for my beautiful cancers and then we're going to wrap it up thank you spirit so we have how see that it's time for you to leave this fool is really adventurous, is really bold, really spontaneous. Spirit is telling you to leave out of a house. This house seems very cold. This same card came out in Scorpio's reading. So Spirit is telling you it's time to take a leap of faith and leave a situation behind. His back is turned to that house and it's time to go after what you want. You are holding a flower. So maybe there is someone in particular that you're looking to um, rekindle things with. Uh, and we have community. So that's your ancestors. This 39 reduces to 12 and 12 reduces to 3. 3 is associated with the ascended masters. So your angels, your ancestors, your support system, your spirit team, they are there riding with you and guiding you in the right direction that you need to go. So trust your feelings, trust your intuition. Know that somebody is trying to keep you bound and stuck. There's a relationship that you need to cut off because you do not feel free in that relationship. There's also someone that's heavy on your heart, on your mind, that you feel better matches your fly, your vibration, and also speaks your love language. So spirit is telling you to pursue that because I feel someone is strongly um, using another person, is only trying to get away 
you know, with with keeping someone bound and stuck to to pay their bills or to, you know, handle their responsibilities. But this is someone spirit is telling you it's time to break free from because you've been in this like I feel like a merry go round. I keep seeing like a circle. So it's just like you, you're repeating you're repeating cycles that have that need to be completed. So this is your reading cancer. I hope the message is resonated. Until next time, I send a big fat ass shade to you all. Please be kind. Hit the like button if it resonates. Definitely hit the bell notification. Uh, and also, um, subscribe if you so feel inclined. Peace, love, and light.